What is the ruling on joint family in Islam? How to balance between each relation? Sorry, uh, can you explain that? Joint family? What is ruling on joint family in Islam? How to balance between each relation? Joint family, Habibi? Joint family in Islam and how to balance What is the ruling you mean on... To, you mean to live together with your in-laws and so on? Is that, is that the understanding? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. Okay, no, shukran. Sorry, I didn't uh, get that first. So the question is, what is the ruling on living together as an extended family and what, are the, what is the extent of it? Uh, that's obviously, it de it's dependent on a lot of factors. Uh, it's not haram, it's permissible on condition that uh, the rules of hijab are not, you know, disregarded. And at the same time, there is respect and modesty in the home. And that respect is very important because, you know, if there are two brothers who are married and the one brother issues instruction to the other brother's wife, that's wrong. That's wrong. You know, you need to have that respect and the limits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught us. Similarly, you have adult children and each one bullies the other. So if you have a beautiful home with, you know, a strong ethos and with, with strong, for example, uh, Islamic inclination or moral values and so on, it can work. But I'd like to believe in today's world. There is a lot of selfishness that takes over people. And even if we are good, sometimes not everyone that we are living with is good. So if, for example, there is uh, a discrepancy and people are finding it difficult, rather than making it something depressing where everybody is fighting each other and people are angry and depressed, we'd rather separate. We'd rather live separately. And we'd rather try. Some people's financial circumstances do not allow that to happen. But to draw the line is important because like we say, in Islam, when a man gets married, his wife is not his father's wife. Some people in some cultures, the father decides, <laughs> this happens a lot, the father decides who you're going to marry, and after that, he instructs the woman also to say, you do this, you do that, you do that. So she's just an unpaid maid for the home. And subhanallah, that's, you know, some people don't mind, you know, do, serving. But to be honest with you, there is a limit to it. If, if they're disrespected and just treated like a slave and everyone comes and dish instruction, then that's not right. That Islamically, the woman deserves her dignity and her respect and she deserves her level and she, she obviously deserves her privacy as well. And if she wants to uh, forego that, if she wants to, you know, for example, that's her right. If she would like to overlook it, no problem. It's her right. But if she feels that, look, I'm unable to practice my Islamic duty to Allah because of the way we're living, then the husband needs to look into a solution for that. May Allah make it easy for us. I don't mean to tamper with cultures and I don't mean to change things, but I do mean to support those who are going through a lot of problems because of uh, living together with people who are difficult. It's not easy. I'd rather live separately and sometimes even a bit of a distance and have respect with the rest of my family than to live together and everyone hates each other. Living together does not depict unity in Islam. But respecting each other is what depicts unity in Islam. I'd rather meet, uh, you know, once a month, once every two months on the occasion of Eid as a large family and be so excited and happy than to be in each other's face every day and swearing each other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. I've just given you an example. And people need to think because a lot of the older people, especially those who might have made a bit of money and they have bigger homes, they insist on the son living in the same home after they're married. But hang on, you know what? It doesn't mean that everyone living together, uh, you know, shows the rest of the world that, oh, we're one close, big, nice, lovely family. Maybe each one is depressed and stressed in the home and the world thinks, oh, mashallah, what a lovely home. We'd rather, you know, use the solutions that are practical. And this is why I know of people who've shifted all the way to Dubai just to stay away from the politics. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. May He grant us ease. May He open our doors, really. Jazakumullah khairi.